Hello there and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jack Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back guys to another Build It Better episode. And this should look somewhat familiar. <laughs> we haven't been here in a long, long time guys. Uh, I have come back to the original BIB world and I have done some pretty massive fucking messing around here and changing things up. And I just couldn't, <laughs> I just couldn't leave this map to die, guys. It's it's been here for almost two years now, and I've done a lot of fucking work on this map, and um, so I decided to revamp it, revisit it, and uh, and and try to uh, keep expanding in this map because, like I said, it is a big part of this series. Uh, the other custom 10K map that I'm working on, we'll take a look at that later on in this video. Uh, just to let you know where I am, on, where I am, <laughs> where I am on that one. Jesus Christ, get that out! And um, we'll still have a download of that map and future plans for that. We'll talk about that probably in another video. Still working a lot of different things out. I've got a lot of different ideas, uh, but one of them again was to revamp the BIB uh, map and uh, and try to get things updated. And get you another world download probably in a couple more videos there's still a lot of things that i want to do but there's also a lot of things i want to show you in this video what i have been working on uh, very subtle difference here in in the main uh, anchoring uh, area here <laughs> in between all the ships uh, i did take away all the cobblestone uh, around the walkways and i went ahead and wind it out and, uh, and and used my double slab to finish out the main pathways I just wanted a, a, a cleaner look, and basically, we're building it better. <laughs> I just I want to make things look uh, just as best as they can. Uh, so, like I said, I went through a lot of different areas of this map and looked at it to see what I could do to try to improve it. Uh, I changed the lighting, as you can see. Uh, we did have the uh, the stand up wooden ones with the trap doors on them, and you'll see the docks here in just a second. I completely fucking redid those. Uh, it was just, it was way too much white. Uh, the cobblestone was w just way too much uh, accent. And like I said, just way too much white down the main docks. Um, so I just, I ripped it all out. <laughs> I said, fuck it. Uh, and then I outlined everything down here. I took away the fence posts. Uh, again, it was just way, way too much wood. <laughs> too much monkey wood. So I replaced it with some iron bars and went back with some stone and accented the corners. And just put in some subtle lighting for right now on the corners. I don't know if I'll pick up some lighting here in the middle or not. Uh, but that's why we're starting this video in the dark. Because I wanted to show off the lighting. So we'll switch over to daytime. And, uh, and, and we'll take a little bit better look of uh, what I've been doing. And I'll kind of go up a little bit. And give you an aerial view. And I've done a, quite a bit of work over here at the tugboat area. And again, redesigned the docks. Uh, I picked up the, what is that, coal? Fuck, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, a block of coal. Now, this is default texture, but it actually looked pretty fucking good. So I used that for, uh, I, I wanted a darker base for the docks. And I wanted to get rid of all that wood, because like I said, it was just way, way, way too much fucking wood. Uh, now that I've come back and looked at it, and, uh, and so I got rid of it. And now I've changed everything over to stone for the underlay. And the same thing underwater, you probably won't be able to see it real good, but uh, I have did a solid uh, stone wall based for the docks to sit on instead of the cobblestone. I got rid of all of that. I got rid of the uh, fence posts along the, here, where I can fucking point. <laughs> I got rid of all the fence posts, like I said, and replaced it all with the bars. And got rid of the wood pillars for the support beams. And I, and I switched it all over, like I said, to stone. And I'm still kind of messing around with the lights here on the corners, on the main docks, whether I want to stay with um, using the torches or if I want to try to switch it over and kind of make it blend into the rest of the area using these lights. So I'm still kind of messing around with that. I've got some, uh, the docks, I wanted more activity going on around the docks. They looked really, really plain. Uh, so I went ahead and made up some new crates and cargo. Uh, just some crafting tables on some wooden blocks with some buttons around it to make it look like pallets. Uh, some more iron blocks, use some carpet on top to kind of trim that out. 
and again some wooden blocks with some trap doors just to make it look like various cargo type stuff uh, and I know this is the tugboat area and they're just tugboats <laughs> they won't really have this kind of cargo but this you know just miscellaneous supplies and stuff uh, kind of like runoff docks um, whatever <laughs> I just wanted something on these docks because it just it looked way way too open uh, I did go ahead and rig up uh, some fence posts for some tie-offs around the anchoring system on the front and on the main dock here and then also a tie-off on the side right there uh, I hate using the fence posts I really fucking do uh, I know I used it on the uh, my pirate ship and it turned out pretty good but for now this is all we have so this is this is the best we can come up with uh, maybe someday we'll get the uh, what is it the rope mod or whatever the hell they talked about like two fucking years ago that we haven't got yet uh, and then we can switch all the the mooring lines over to uh, you know the rope and I can get everything tied off properly now whether or not I'll tie off the destroyer and all the other ships I have not completely decided yet um, I just I haven't got that far over to I don't know to figure it out <laughs> uh, I, I did put in some cushioning systems uh, for the, the tugboats and that's just basically red and white wool uh, just to keep them from slamming into the docks so I wanted uh, to use something along them lines something a little colorful added you know a little bit to the end of the docks here too um, some spare parts or pieces for the bumpering system uh, for when the tugboats aren't here <laughs> in real life here guys <laughs> fucking work with me um, I wanted a uh, kind of a maintenance dock here so I designed another crane type system that can work into these two docks um, for other smaller boats to come into and uh, and they can replace parts on them and stuff like that so I wanted some some sort of a maintenance dock um, I didn't want to put a crane on all all of them it would look way too uh, repetitive so I just made th this last two dock area a, uh, a maintenance dock and then of course the rest would just uh, through some tra uh, tra some chests and again some more uh, crafting tables for uh, just some various cargo type shit and let's see was that it tied that one off yeah 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 some bigger cargo here again using the carpet on top just to kind of clean it up a little bit and I think that was pretty much it um, this thing right here, I don't know what the fuck that is, but it looked kind of cool. <laughs> and then I picked up some of the other cargo from the main warehouse area. Uh, again, just to kind of, you know, mix it up a little bit. Because you can access uh, the destroyer from this side, so I figured I'd put some cargo that had to relate to um, that anyways. And this is my new little truck here. <laughs> it's it's kind of different. It's a little crane truck, obviously. It's got a little crane on the front. And uh, I was messing around, and I wanted something that you know, was drivable on the docks that could help pick up and move things other than the movable cranes that I have way, way down there. Uh, so I come up with this little crane truck, and I think it's pretty cool. It's just a really quick design. Uh, I, I may change it around a little bit. I just want to see what I could come up with, and that's what I come up with. So I don't know if you guys like it or not. Let me know. And then I threw a little bit of cargo up on top of the destroyer here. Uh, because we do have the big movable cranes over here that I think should be able to reach this. <laughs> I never really measured those out, so I don't know. Uh, but I want to put some cargo on that, and I put some up here on the front. Uh, I've made the uh, Enterprise dock here very, very busy. Uh, lots and lots of cargo and shipping pallets and all that. Again, picked up some from the warehouse, picked up some from the tugboat area, and... Let's see, added some more here, brought out a forklift out of the warehouse, just copied that out of uh, there and brought it out, and just added some more various cargo all the way down, just to make this dock a lot busier, again, just because it was just way, way too open, and I put some pallets and stuff up on the, uh, the lift here, so that that had something on it, and we do have everything switched over to clay now. Uh, so all the ships are clay based so this is finally officially a 1-6 whatever the fuck world <laughs> I don't remember we haven't updated in quite a while and I haven't updated my mods in a while I'm still running 1-6-2 and, uh, and that's probably what I'll run until all the mods update I mean, we're still waiting on that shit and, uh, and when it does then I'll, I'll start adding some stained glass around the world and, and things like that but nothing, nothing really really major out of the new uh, one seven uh, 
updates or whatever the fuck that I really want to, that I'm really dying to use right now. So we're just patiently waiting. And in the meantime, we're just fucking redoing things. I do have a new tugboat. Uh, I actually have had this for quite a while. And there should be a tutorial coming out very, very soon uh, if it hasn't already. Um, I'm not sure. I'm doing a lot of recording today, so I don't know what's coming up when. But there's the new tugboat. Uh, I thought that looked really, really cool. Very classic style. Um, and again, all the ships are are finally switched over to clay. Uh, what else have I done? I've done some serious fucking world leveling uh, over in the main, over here in the main part. Um, I did kind of busy this up a little bit. Uh, put some pallets and stuff over here. And again, continued the trend all the way around. Got rid of all the wood and all the cobblestone trim around the walkways. Uh, this walkway down here, again, all the wood is gone. And it, whoops, it is all stone now with some inlays just for some depth. And again, I'm not really finished yet, still kind of messing around. I'm just jumping all over this fucking world right now. It's just because <laughs> I got so many things I want to redo and I want to replace. And, uh, and a lot of things I want to build better. Still picking up some fucking serious uh, lighting issues on certain things and that weren't there that are that are there now, especially since I've done some world editing. And uh, I did drop this world into World Painter and, and did some, some work on that. Biome Painter, I put it into that. Uh, MC Edit, single player commands, and have completely just gone <laughs> and once that loads up you'll see exactly uh what is there this used to be the the jungle biome that was sitting right behind all this this area here i completely wiped it the fuck out i hate fucking jungles i really do uh they look good from a distance but they are just worthless to fucking build in so um so i wiped it i fucking i just fucking annihilated it <laughs> uh i said put it in mc edit and, uh, and just wiped this whole area completely fucking clean and snapped off my fucking gate system and I, I'm, I'm gonna put some roads going out that way and we'll fly down that way here in just a minute and, uh, and I'm starting to build another wall and I'll build this walkway around that connects to this last gate and then figure out some way to tie this into the base gate uh, because the base uh, needs to have some sort of a uh, uh, barred type fencing around it fucking really lost for words guys i have not recorded in like several fucking days i've been really busy at work so i'm probably gonna be a little off sync here guys fuck you <laughs> but anyways ripped out these stairs over here all the landscaping ripped off those stairs uh extended the road down past the new bank behind the new bank and the gix tower building here and uh, this will extend into probably some parking lots parking areas and probably a park type area gonna try to incorporate some waterfalls or water fountains and shit like that went behind the police station so I ripped out all that like this was all jungle every fucking bit of it is completely gone and um, back over here let's see what did we do over here I uh, just switched out everything to clay like I'm doing in the other uh, build a better custom world so all that is changed over now and everything back here used to be water gone <laughs> world painter i just put a fucking plateau brush on and this goes way 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 the fuck out there now and uh i got rid of that so that i can finally extend the city the way that i wanted to uh now whether or not like i said guys i i don't know the custom world may just be a custom open world if and i'll just uh, put it up for download and you guys can do whatever you want with it or i may extend the build it better series into that um, as far as the Unleashed series, uh, we're going to be working on the, uh, uh, the, the fucking air base. Uh, smaller scale. I, I still want to do the large scale one. That's why I made the 10K map. Uh, but I did level out some more area over where I was originally going to put the airfield on this map. And um, hopefully we can work with that. I don't know. if i got to get rid of these fucking lighting glitches. It's really fucking pissing me off. Um, anyways, I was going to fly over here for some. Oh, <laughs> show you some of the shit that's still left over. I, do, I got a lot of cleaning up to do. Uh, get rid of the rest of these jungle trees. And I found, I, I pushed it over into this. This was a desert area over here. So I biome changed all that. 
And again, like I said, this runs all the way down, uh, I don't know, quite a ways, to the edge of the map anyways, where I haven't started opening it yet. <laughs> Still got a little village. I got to take care of that probably too. And uh, this is what happens when you really start fucking with shit. <laughs> so hopefully the map isn't glitched too bad. I did have one chunk error that I had to reset over by the, uh, the tugboats. And I've got that deleted and everything. Uh, luckily, I've got enough schematics and world saves to put everything back. So I got that fixed. So yeah, we're just kind of looking around and bullshitting and talking about things for the Build It Better season. I think we're still in two. I think we're going to be in two for a little while as we just kind of stretch through this map. We'll finish cleaning it up and uh, maybe start adding some roads over this way and extending the city. That's where I was going. Oh, the other city. Uh, the main, the other city that we've been working on in the beginning of season two um, was just basically all these buildings from this world, except for the new post office and the apartment buildings. That I may transfer over into the 10K world, and I may borrow some of those to put into this world because I want to keep um, that stuff in this world too. Because those are, you know, this world is basically everything that I've built from almost day one of minecraft and that's that's what this world holds so i want to keep all all the new stuff somehow incorporated into uh in, in, uh into this map anyways and this was obviously all water if you guys remember so i went ahead and pushed all that out and we can extend upon the dry dock area over here eventually and when i get back over to this area and just kind of tied it in a little bit because uh, with World Painter, uh, you get um, you can leave all your man-made stuff and still get. You know what I think it is? I think it's. I think I've got this on fucking Moody. Let me check. Yeah, I do. Let me brighten it back up. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> That's why I'm picking up all these shadows right now. Up oh, there we go. All right, <laughs> duh, Jag. <laughs> but anyways, uh, with World Painter, yeah, you can bring in your. Um, I, I did mess around with it, obviously. Uh, you can bring in your regular worlds and mark your man-made objects as read-only surface and below if you want to, uh, depending on how you do it. Just be very, very careful, guys. Um, I did fuck up some shit. <laughs> I got to fix now. But it will give you a cushion around it. Uh, I think probably about 20 block, maybe a 20, 30 block area. Probably about 20 blocks. So right about here is where it fucking stopped. And then I pushed all this out with the plateau brush. And, um, yeah, that's, that's how that fucking works. <laughs> so anyways, that's where we are pretty much at in the new, uh, build a better map. The submarines, I don't think are switched over yet. No, that's, that's the, the wool. So I've got to get those switched over yet. Uh, the uh, Ohio and the other typhoon, I've got to get that switched over yet. Uh, again, all that's fucking gone. I'm still debating whether or not to rip these bars down. Uh, the other, this is where I actually started uh, on the other tugboat dock next to the other typhoon, and this is where I started creating kind of pallets and some other layouts and another crane for loading up shit. Again, as a maintenance type dock when the tugboats are not here. Um, another little crane here for uh, again smaller vessels to dock up on the end and, and get loaded up on shit. Again, just trying to make things look a little bit busier than than I had before. Before, everything just looked really, really wide open and fuck you, you motherfucker. See, this is what happens again with uh, when you start kind of fucking with shit. You get some weird some really weird stuff and I've got a lot more lighting glitches now. So again, I've got to Try to figure out how to fix that shit if I can. Maybe relight the areas with MC Edit if I can uh, get rid of uh, some a lot of those lighting glitches I have now. The train station is still here. The tracks are still void. They still don't go anywhere, but it, it just looks good because that was one of the first buildings we put on the map. Uh, let's see. What else did I do? Uh, down this way. Let's see. I'm still... I think I'm going to rip out all the fucking trees. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the, uh, the custom uh, Lente's uh, tree pack that I'm using on the custom world. And just get rid of all these little motherfuckers. Because they just... I love the new trees. So I, I, I don't want to use them anymore. So I got rid of... I'm starting to get rid of all the trees down this way. 
and uh, I do have the docks over here by the Yamato and the Titanic fixed. Uh, I ripped out the center white piece of the tracks. Again, it was just way too much white. So I, I switched that into grass and I'll come back with some bone meal and just kind of jag it up a little bit. Jag. <laughs> with some uh, um, little flowers and stuff. Or I don't really know because now I've got this side built up like this. I didn't like this being set down. So I don't know. Like I said, I got a lot of fucking things going on here, guys. And uh, and I'm still trying to figure out how to tie some of this shit in. Uh, ripped down the, all the fencing around this parking lot. Uh, all the way, basically around the whole fucking uh, area, I ripped out all the fucking bars. It was just, it was way too fucking much. And you guys should have told me. I wish somebody would have fucking told me. Jag, that's way, way too many fucking bars. Uh, so I got rid of all that. And like I said, somewhere down through here will be the the outside military wall that will be bars and probably brick to tie into gate four. Which I don't know, we, didn't, we didn't even look at gate four, but uh, I, I pushed that a lot closer to um, the the dry dock area. So anyways, that's that's way down there. Fucking I ain't going back. Um, cut a big swath through here. Again, this will be probably the main boulevard that runs uh, the length of... Uh, the shipping or the the naval station here will put in another gate, probably gate three, somewhere maybe between the fire station and the gas station. Again, I have not decided yet. Uh, pushed a lot of this back because I've got the castle on that side. Um, I don't know if it'll show up or not. My rendering's kind of fucked up right now. But anyways, the castle is right behind these fucking trees somewhere. So anyways, I pushed all this back, ripped out all these trees to allow me to have more room for uh, some more roads and things of that nature. And then, let's see, where are we at? Oh, i got to fix that fucking thing yet, too. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's fly down here. All right, this is where I left off on the railroad crossing, the original railroad crossing before the new style that I came up with this season. So I'm still... Still tying this up. This whole area over here, the air base was going to be down there, probably about a thousand blocks from where I'm at right now. This was all swampland, forest, and trees, and part jungle. Again, rip that completely the fuck out because I want some place to tie these tracks into that go down to the roundhouse. So this road will probably eventually move or turn away from a warehousing area here that the uh, the trains will come into in another. Uh, shipping type area I'm not really sure still working out again some details on that and and these guys will probably move the construction guys will probably move somewhere else so yeah everything should look <laughs> should look really fucking different here guys <laughs> like I said, I've done a lot a lot of work just to this world um, again just so I've got a lot more room to to expand and just keep this world going just as long as we can we reach the outer limits of it uh, eventually uh, I'll, I'll throw it back into world painter and i'll just plateau the fuck out of it and we'll keep going <laughs> so anyways that are that's all the new updates so far in uh, in the main bib world and again as soon as i you know can get some more time to come back and and work on it get it cleaned up get it neatened up so it's not really really fucked up like it is right now i will have another world update for you it will have the wasp in it, which is way down there at the end of the future um, airstrip. And again, uh, when we start the Unleashed series, hopefully sometime here in February, um, we're going to do a scaled down version. Uh, I've already got the, the airstrips and stuff. I've already uh, done some testing on the sizes. I've got some new planes and all that kind of shit to throw down on them. So we're going to do a scaled down version instead of doing a full 1-1 one, one scale of an uh, of like an Air Force base. We're going to scale it down so that it will fit on this fucking map. That way you guys don't have to wait till summertime for the 10K map and, and all that kind of shit. Uh, I just want to keep things fucking rolling. And uh, I think I've dropped the F-bomb. Somebody give me a count on that. <laughs> 245, Jag. Uh, I'm just, uh, yeah, really, really fucking hyper today, I guess. And I uh, wanted to get this out of the way. All right, so now we are going to jump into the 10K map, and I'll show you a couple spot areas that I've done on that, and, um, and then we'll tidy this episode up. 
All right, so we are on the 10K map, and it is still loading because there's, there's a very big flat area that I carved away for what was going to be the 1-1 scale of the Air Force Base, or the air airfield, anyways. This is one of the one of the airstrips right here, or one of the landing strips, and I think that is the upper one, and it is 4,100 blocks long. So, it, like I said, it is 1-1 scale. I've got a couple, I think I've got a couple of my planes sitting out here, and I'll give you a, a little sneak peek of them, because these are coming out, I think, sometime this, here in February. Holy fucking shit, really? Fuck you. <laughs> We're going slow as hell. Um, so yeah, we've got a, a connecting one here, and this is based off from uh, Anderson Air Force Base, is, is what I'm going to be using for... Uh, the reference for the airfield and sneak peek Oop. <laughs> my uh, uh, C5 is done and I think I've got a bunch of shit here in the middle that will eventually start popping up Oop, there's another one and there's a couple more over there okay that's enough <laughs> just little teasers guys because these uh, these are coming out this month and I don't want to ruin it uh, but anyways the loading on this map is takes forever um, just because I think there is a lot of stuff um, just that needs to be generated. That's why I didn't want to add resources to this map because it was going to load slow. It was going to slow. It was going to load slow anyways. Uh, but I took around the airfield and I made up a. Uh, I took the custom trees and I made a pine forest uh, area around the entire. Uh, air airstrip here on the far side over here you can, I'm not gonna wait for it to load but there's like a mountain range and it sits inside of a valley uh, which is which is pretty fucking cool and if I don't have an overlay right now of what we're looking at up in the up in the corner up there um, which I will try to that way you can see the areas that we're actually in or I will pull up the world painter file here at the end of this video and we'll kind of go over some things that would probably be easier than what I'm doing right now. Oops, there's my A-10s. Yep, there they are. And I've got some more over there somewhere. And oh, there we got some rock formation. Uh, this is a pretty little cool little cutout that uh, goes out to the ocean area. And uh, yeah, so this is just just a quick sneak peek, guys, of what the 10K map is coming along to. And uh, I've got a big fucking mountain range over there. It looks really fucking awesome. Uh, I'm messing around with the biomes a little bit. I've got a big, and you guys know I'm not really crazy on the snow biomes, but over on the far side, we've got a big snow biome with a, a big mountain and shit, and I'm just going to pull up the, yeah, there's there's a plane up there. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the World Painter file, and we can get a better look at what the map looks like. All right, guys, so here is the 10K map. This is the, the airstrip where we just were. It's really, really long. <laughs> goes all the way down to here and I'll, and I'll zoom out a little bit here in, in, in just a second uh, I put another kind of a mountain range at the end and again another mountain range that surrounds it on this side and then all these light this light green area this is the new uh, well the, yeah the new trees the pine forest stuff that I put around that um, just below this to the south uh, I'm still painting on that trying to figure out how I want to do the trees and tie them in. I've got a really big mountain right here. It's kind of cool looking uh, with some ponds or some lakes rather here and here. And then I've got one that kind of washes out. Um, and this is actually 208, 210 high, 231 high. So this is a very, very big uh, mountain. And then I've got a smaller one down here and another smaller one down here. And I think this was done on the last time we looked at this, uh, this world map for updates and then up here in the corner let's see up 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 and like I said I'll zoom out here in just a minute uh, this is the uh, the snowy area with all the mountains so if I turn on fuck off dick beater yeah so if I turn on the snow you can see this is all a big snow region with some really nice mountains and I actually haven't dropped into this part of the map yet to look at it so I don't even know what this looks like. <laughs> uh, I did try to make one of these islands uh, one of the new biomes from 1.7. And I think I tried to make this into a mesa. And it just it, it kind of looked like shit. 
Um, so I don't know if I'm going to incorporate any of the new biomes in this map or not. Let me go ahead and zoom out so we can see a little bit better of just how much I've got done on this map. It's extremely fucking large. <laughs> Serious fucking overkill. <laughs> but there will be a lot of area on here for uh, for you guys to build. Just All this here in the middle is is flat where it's just like a, uh, a light green. This is all plains. Uh, this all up in here is forest area. There's no trees here yet. I don't have it uh, painted for trees. I just got it painted for biomes right now. It's mainly forest and uh, mega spruce tega, however the fuck you say that, um, and plains are, the, are the, the, the biggest or the main three biomes that are on this map right now just because um, I like the green color that it uses in the texture pack and um, it's, it's the easiest to blend right now and I, and I don't have to try to figure out anything else. So this corner here um, is still left to do. I want to leave this here in the middle for the city area so I don't want to go too far with the uh, the painter or the brushes. I don't want to pull it in too far into here. But I may take this river and cut right through the middle um, just so we have something interesting or cut it down to this one here. Not really sure yet. <laughs> like I said, got a lot of ideas here, guys. A lot of things really bouncing around, as you can tell, just because my brain is really, really scattered in this video. Probably more scattered than it has been in a long time. Just because there, I've got so, so many things going on right now. Um, just with different builds, different things with this map, different things with the BIB map. And um, so, yeah, this is a pretty big fucking update um, for our Build It Better season and what we're doing. Uh, so, again, any kind of input, throw it down there in the comment section what you think, you know, um, what you guys may want in the future, things that you might want to see on this map. Um, again, uh, if we turn it into a season type map where we're going to actually build on it, don't worry. There will be a just a plain world download for this map. It will have no buildings on it or nothing. It will be just a raw map. When I finish it with all the trees and the mountains and all the really cool shit, um, I'll also put a probably a, uh, a notepad in there that has all of the different teleports to specific type areas. You know, the corner of the airfield or... The, you know the uh, the snow region or this big mountain down here uh, but again this is probably still at least a couple months out like there's just a lot of fucking work here guys and then with working on everything else that I have going on too I'm um, trying to get it done but yet have a uh, a very good map for you guys and for us to use for uh, future building series so anyways that's it yeah <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. I am done babbling and, and just spewing fucking shit all over the microphone because <laughs> this is just a terrible fucking commentary today. Uh, I'm tired as fuck from fucking work. And, uh, again, somebody give me a fuck counter on this one. I wonder how many fucks are in this video. <laughs> There's a lot. And, uh, like always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.